Hey everybody, Chris Cortez, Seymour Duncan Video. I'm here with my counterpart, Frank Falbo, the resident guitar expert. We're at the NAM show, and we're talking about something very, very special. Frank, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing fine. That's good. That's so good. So, what do you uh, what do you have in your hands here? Uh, we know it's a guitar, but what uh, what's special about this? Well, this is the Seymour uh, Duncan 35. It's a limited edition guitar. There's only going to be 35 of these made, and um, it's a partnership between Seymour W. Duncan. Uh, myself and the Larravee Guitar Builders. And what it does is it commemorates really the guitar that Seymour made famous. Um, he's been playing the same guitar for quite a long time. Now this is not an exact relic replica. This isn't trying to be uh, an old guitar. This is a new guitar that you can make old. And because of that, it also frees us up to use the best of the best hardware and the best of the best manufacturing techniques because we're not bound by um, by trying to have to replicate uh, something that is uh, that was made 50 uh, 60 years ago. Well, why don't you take us on a little bit of a tour of this thing and kind of let everybody know what makes it so uh, so special? All right. Well, first off, we have a one-piece solid swamp ash body that's been hand selected. Each of the pieces of wood that are going into this guitar are selected from John Larravee's private stock, and uh, we really feel that we have a just superb example. Uh, of one-piece bodies on these guitars. We also have a uh, quarter sawn maple neck and you can see the inlay 1976 to 2011 commemorating 35 years. We are using uh, nickel silver frets. We're using black mother of pearl inlays. We went with nickel silver frets because uh, tonally speaking they seem to be the most friendly and the most accurate to the kinds of sounds that we're used to, to hearing. This nut is made from 35,000 year old uh, mastodon ivory, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, Are you being serious right now? Yes, I am being serious. Uh, the folks at Larravee have a stash, and uh, that's what we're using. We've got... Uh, that is amazing. Yeah, do you need a minute? I need a minute because, uh, I mean, only the finest dinosaur parts are being used in this guitar, so I want you to realize that. <laughs> So, in addition to that, nickel hardware, aside from the fact that you're going to see this bridge is milled from a solid block of stainless, uh, so for tonal reasons, uh, we've chosen this bridge. They both lock. The bridge and the tailpiece have Allen wrench locks for sustain, um, but the bridge has really big fat uh, posts that are recessed into the wood to really deliver the maximum resonance. Now, these pickups, I want to talk about these for a little bit. These are the pickups that we call the JB and Jazz concept set. The custom shop is going to make these available for purchase. But what these are really is, you know, every great invention, every great product at some point has a, a point of origin. And this is the times when the designer is still working with just the materials that he's got at his workbench. He's still drawing in pencil, as they say and still kind of crafting and coming up with these ideas. And so these are really the pickups that Seymour made for himself that would eventually become the production JB and Jazz uh, pickups. So there are some very subtle differences. And like I say, much like a concept car versus the car that gets released, you'd have things that are very, very similar about it, but just maybe a few little subtle differences. But in addition to these pickups, we're gonna be putting inside the case a set of Zephyr silver wire pickups for those people that want to put those in and listen to those. So you'll have an extra set of pickups going in uh, with the case in addition to another control plate. This control plate that we have right here uh, has 250k pots on it and it's got, it's got a liberator in there for quick and efficient pickup changes. But there's also be a whole other control plate that you can swap out with 500k pots and a different type of capacitor all liberator so it's all a, a solderless change if you want to change it to take a listen um, aside from that uh, you just know that you have the best of the best and uh, superb quality workmanship and really that's the only way that we could, would consider to celebrate uh, Seymour's 30, 35th anniversary in 35 years in business so there's only a certain number of these that they've made to start off with, right? It's not that you're not just gonna be able to go into any guitar center in the country and pick one up right away. Yeah, there's 35. Which is not a lot. Yeah, that's not a lot by many standards. Yeah, because I go into, sometimes I go into guitar stores and I only see 35 guitars, so I don't know if that's a lot or not a lot. Yeah, they would have to buy them all. No, okay. They, uh, there's only 35 of these gonna be made, and, and then that's it. 
um, the doors will be will be closed, and so there will be some retailers to be able to get these guitars that you just gotta watch and see where they end up. Uh, they're gonna go uh, via like a, a lottery, a very fair and equitable uh, distribution. So it's kind of like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Like you have to get a golden ticket, and then you're eligible to get the guitar. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I would submit to you that this guitar and owning this guitar is a far superior experience to going to the Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and turning into a blueberry or getting sucked up by a chocolate river. Depending on where your priorities are at, but if you're into guitar, I could definitely see why this would be a way better experience than being sucked in a fizzy lifting machine. Right, that's right, that's right. All right, well, you saw it here. Frank, thank you so much for spending time and taking us on a tour of the guitar. I know you're a busy man, and. Uh, you don't really like talking to me that much, but I appreciate you taking the time out. And uh, this is a special guitar, and listening to you play it earlier, uh, you can really see you know, how special it is, and, and uh, you should go check one out.